horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Toto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come Silver. Let's go, big fella. Are you still The Lone Ranger had an important message he was anxious to relay to his friend Marshal Stoney Dixon in the town of Driftwood. After traveling all night, the masked man and Tonto reached the hills above town. There, the Lone Ranger made a temporary camp while his Indian friend rode into town to see the young gunfighter. When he returned, he reported failure. Marshal Dixon up in town, King Wasabi. Him leave yesterday afternoon to trail two crooks. Color in store, say. Marshal find tracks of killers near Medicine Rock. Medicine Rock isn't far from here. That's right. Who's Dixon trailing? A fellow named Trigger Tatum and partner called Vegas. I've heard of both of them. They're wanted in half a dozen places. We wait for Marshal to come back to town? We haven't time to wait, Tonto. We came here to warn Dixon about Sam Dollar and his raiders. Well, maybe Marshal not know Dollar organized outlaw army. It's our job to alert every lawman in the territory. Sam Dollar must be found and captured. Ah, and what we do? We'll go to Medicine Rock. We may be able to pick up Dixon's trail. We follow him? Yes. Come on, Tonto. We'll break camp at once. Ah. On a high slope that commanded a good view of their back trail, the outlaw named Trigger Tatum reined his black stallion to a halt and spoke to his companion. Look back there, Vegas. See anything? At dusk, clown. The rider's heading this way. He might be following us. I know we shouldn't have committed a robbery near Driftwood. We're both too well known in these parts. We needed cash. We can't spend it in jail if a lawman's picked up our trail. We'll know whether or not it's a lawman. As soon as I get my binoculars from my saddle. We should have been more careful about covering our tracks. Uh, now to adjust his glasses. Well, what about it, Trigger? Is he a lawman? Uh, I don't know for sure. Here, you take a look, Vegas. The sun's reflecting from something shiny on his vest. Let's see. Huh. Could be a badge. It is a badge. Of all the blasted luck. Sam Dollar will not thank us for leading a badge story to his hideout. According to the map Sam sent us, we're half a day's travel from his hideout. 
And before we get there, I'll add another notch to my gun. What do you mean? We'll ambush that lawman. That suits me. All right. Come on, Vegas. <coughs> we'll ride into the hills and wait for that critter to catch up to us. I would have taken Come on, get it. Come on, on. get it. The two outlaws left a clear trail as they searched for a suitable place to hide. Soon they reached Gopher Canyon. <laughs> Trigger pointed to several large boulders at the far end of the narrow pass. Vegas, those rocks are big enough to hide the horses. If we take position behind them, we'll be able to gun the lawman when he rounds that turn and comes into the canyon. Right. Come on, we'll get the horses out of sight. Come on, boy. Come on. Get Stoney Dixon was an outstandingly courageous manhunter. The young marshal was a daring gunfighter. He was constantly alert to the possibility of unexpected danger and sudden death. Easy down, boy. Easy. Easy. He had been following the trail of the two killers ever since they left the town of Driftwood. When the tracks led to the Gopher Canyon area, he became even more watchful and wary. For Dixon knew that the narrow pass had been the scene of more than one ambush. To avoid a possible trap... He decided to travel along the canyon rim. The trail leading to the upper ledge was some distance from the canyon entrance. Oh, oh, oh boy. Dixon dismounted and guided his horse up the rocky slope. Come on. Come on. Get him. Oh, that's easy. When he reached the rim above the canyon, he stopped. Then he saw the two killers below. They were watching the canyon entrance, and their guns were drawn. So the poor cats plan to ambush me, huh? The marshal studied the canyon floor. Vegas and Trigger were perfect targets. Dixon drew his own weapons and shouted, You're coming! The startled outlaws stared at the canyon rim. As soon as they saw Dixon, they realized they were hopelessly trapped. But neither Vegas nor Trigger intended to be captured, for they knew the law would hang them. Throw down your guns! That's a mistake! Dixon fired his right-hand gun. The bullet struck Vegas in the shoulder. Though Vegas and Trigger had little hope of hitting the marshal, they fired steadily at the canyon rim. Then one of Dixon's bullets struck Trigger in the head. A moment later, Vegas was hit again. He dropped his gun and fell to the ground unconscious. The Lone Ranger and Tonto had been following Marshal Dixon's trail. They drew rein when they reached the spot where the gunfight had occurred. While they waited for the moon to rise, they built a fire and prepared a light meal. After they finished eating, Tonto said, Moon rise. Plenty soon, Kimasabi. Good. We have no trouble following Marshal's trail by moonlight. You, get your hands up. Tonto, come this way. I see you, Tonto. You're both covered. Kimasabi, you wounded us. I'll take that gun. Oh, you, That's better. You, you, you're outlaws. My mask needn't worry you. <clears throat> Me, look at wound. Now you sit down here. Who shot you? L- Lawman gunned me. What's that? Got trigger in me. Who are you? My name's Vegas. Come, yeah. come here. Come yeah. here. Marshal Dixon, trail father named Vegas. Vegas and his partner, Trigger Tatum. Ah. How bad is he hurt? Him not live long. Nothing we can do to help him. Mighty weak. Rest for a moment. Yeah, yeah. You drink this. Maybe feel better. Yeah. Thanks, Sergeant. When I saw your fire, I hoped you would be someone who would be able to help me. And then I saw your mask. I'm not an outlaw. No need to lie to me, mister. Those six shooters in your holsters are mighty fine looking guns. I hope you will use them to kill the United States Marshal who shot me and my pal. When were you shot? About noon. We knew the critter had trailed us from Driftwood. Trigger planned to ambush him when he came into the canyon. But he was too smart. He trapped us. Where's Trigger? In the canyon. He died as soon as the Marshal's bullet hit him. I... Oh. I... I heard bad. I not live long. What about the Marshal? I was unconscious. When I came to, the lawman had come down from the ledge. I was too weak to tangle with him, so 
I played dead. I I saw him go through Trigger's pockets. He found a message and map from Sam Dollar. Sam Dollar? You've heard of him, eh? Yes, I've heard of him. Do you know where to find him? I know, and so does the marshal. I figure that bad stutter's on his way to Dollar's hideout right now. No lawman would be foolish enough to walk into Dollar's camp alone. That lawman's not taking any chance. He read Sam's message. He knows Sam sent for Trigger and me to join his gang. Likewise, he knew from the message that Sam Dollar never met us. He could take off his badge and ride into the camp, posing as Trigger. How did you know he was heading for the hideout? I watched him. He didn't turn back to Driftwood. It, if you follow his trail, it will probably lead to Dollar's hideout. You may be right. I know I'm right. He must figure to take Sam by surprise, but he'll not get away with it. Mister, I'll, I'll tell you how to find Sam Dollar. He's, he's recruiting gunslingers. Maybe he'll hire you and your partner. You go to Dollar, warn him about that marshal. Where's the hideout? West of here. He has a mighty big camp in Spring Valley. The Lone Ranger and Tonto listened closely as Vegas gave detailed directions to Sam Dollar's hiding place. You go to Sam Dollar. Get that marshal before he makes... I promise you we'll try to find the marshal. He must have been. Yes. Him not here, promise. Him dead. Well, at least he cheated the hangman. Uh, him think you, outlaw. Yes, that's why he told us how to reach Dollar's hideout. You think Marshal Dixon go to hideout? If he did, he'll be in serious trouble. Well, maybe him not have trouble. If him go there and pose as Trigger Tatum... Him learn plenty about gang. Dixon doesn't know that Luke Nuller broke out of territorial prison to join Sam Dollar. Nuller is Dollar's right-hand man. What difference that make to Stoney Dixon? Dixon captured Nuller. Oh. Then Luke Nuller recognized Marshall. That's right, Toto. As soon as Nuller sees him, he'll know Stoney Dixon is not Trigger Tatum. That'd be plenty bad for Marshall Dixon. Yes, it'll be fatal. He'll never get out of that camp alive. And what we do, Kimosabi? I'll follow Dixon's trail and try to stop him before he reaches a hideout. Uh, and what me do? Ride to the nearest town. Tell the sheriff there are two dead men here. He'll probably send someone to take care of the bodies. Uh, Urge the sheriff to form a posse. With the directions Vegas gave us, you'll be able to lead the men to Dollar's hideout. Me savvy. Easy, steady, big fellow. Uh, I'll see you later, Toto. Most of the The moon had already risen when the masked man left camp. He found Stoney Dixon's trail in Gopher Canyon and followed it west. Monsieur! Late that night, Marshal Stoney Dixon drew rein at the entrance to a narrow pass. Easy down, boy, easy. He guided his horse through the opening and halted as a sentry called. Right. Oh, oh, boy. Hold on. You're covered. So I see. Who are you? Sam Dollar sent for me. You have proof of that? Yeah. I have a message from him in my pocket. Let's see it, but don't try any fast moves. Uh-huh. Here it is. I'll take it. Now keep your hands up. Ah, this note's addressed to Trigger Tatum. That's right. Oh, so you're Tatum, huh? That's what the note says. The boss is expecting you, Trigger. Now, the end of the canyon here opens into a valley. One of the boys will tell you where to find Sam Dollar. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Here's your note, Trigger. Yeah, thanks. Come on, boy. Get up. Come on. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger adventure. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
all to continue. When Toto reached the town of Big Bend, he went directly to Sheriff Small's office. He found the elderly lawman standing guard over a solitary prisoner in the cell block adjoining his office. The Indian identified himself. Then, as briefly as possible, told about the two dead men in Gopher Canyon. Trigger Tatum and his sidekick Vegas, eh? Mm, that's right. Them both killed in gunfight with Marshal Dixon. They must have been loco to trade lead with the Marshal. But maybe they figured dying that way would be easier than hanging. Marshal Dixon in plenty trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, him go to hideout of outlaw gang. Pose as Trigger Tatum. Marshal not know their feller in camp. Named Luke Bellon. Tonto outlined the Marshal's danger and explained the masked man's desire to help his friend and capture the outlaw gang. I've heard Marshal Dixon speak of you and your masked friend a number of times, Tonto. If Stoney is in danger, I'll round up a posse right away to help him out. That's plenty good. Outlaw camp, not far from here. The Lone Ranger had been riding hard and steadily in an effort to overtake Dixon. It was nearly three o'clock in the morning, and still he had not sighted his friend. Easy, Silver, easy, boy. He studied the moonlit terrain and realized he was near the outlaw camp Vegas had described. He approached a narrow pass. As he rode through the opening, he heard a voice shout, Hey there, go rain! Oh, Silver, oh. A man holding a shotgun came into view. Get your hands up, mister. Very well. Who are you? If I wanted to be known, I wouldn't wear a mask. You're at the wrong end of this gun barrel, mister. You better give me straight answers. Where do you think you're going? I'm looking for Sam Dollar's camp. You're in it. Unless you can identify yourself, you'll be buried here. Did a rider named Trigger Tatum come here ahead of me? What if he did? Didn't he tell you his partner Vegas would be here? No. Didn't say anything about a partner. You tried Then to... he is here. Of course he is. He had a note from Sam Dollar, but you That's had... all I wanted to know. The masked man pressed his knees against Silver's sides. The stallion charged. <laughs> the startled sentry moved back to escape the peril of Silver shot hoops. As he did, the Lone Ranger freed his feet from the stirrups and leaped at the guard. <laughs> Pinning the guard to the ground, the masked man gripped the man's gun arm. Drop that shotgun. Uh, let go. Drop it or I'll break your arm. Uh, all right, I'll drop it. <laughs> That's better. No. Now uh, you're on the wrong end of a gun barrel. On your feet. Uh, you're loco if you think you can come here. And... Hey, Who's that? Looks like you're finished, mister. That's Luke Nellor. When he finds you Nellor, here... Huh? He's just a man I want to see. What? Move back into the shadow of these rocks. Uh, That's it. Who owns that white horse? Tell Nellor to come over here. Tell him you want to talk to him about the rider of that horse. I'll call him over here, all right. This is a Colt 45 against your back. Don't try to sound an alarm. Uh, don't, don't shoot me. And do as you're told. I'm over here, Nellor. Over by the rocks. Come over here and I'll tell you about that printer. You've said enough. The masked man shot a hard fist to the side of the guard's head. The man slumped to the ground unconscious. Sorry, Nitro, but your usefulness has ended. Nitro, where'd that white horse come from? I brought him here, Nellor. Hey, what the... Steady. Don't reach for your guns. Hey, you're, you're masked. That's right, Nellor. But the mask doesn't put me on your side of the law. First, I'll take your guns. There. That's better. Now, where's Marshal Dixon? Dixon? That coyote's in Driftwood. And you Why? haven't seen the man who calls himself Trigger Tatum? Calls himself Trigger Tatum? What are you talking about? I haven't time for explanations, Dollar. Look, where's Nitro? What happened to him? The same thing is going to happen to you. Meanwhile, Stoney Dixon had been escorted to Sam Dollar's cabin, where he waited while one of the men went to rouse the leader. As soon as he was told that the notorious Trigger Tatum had arrived in camp, Sam Dollar pulled on his clothing, then greeted the grim-faced lawman who was posing as the dead outlaw. Well, Trigger, you're not as big as I figured you'd be. No? Well, it isn't always size it counts. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Dollar. I'll soon know whether you're big enough to handle the job I have in mind for you. What is the job? I'm uh, offering you Luke Neller's place in my gang. Neller? Well, I, uh... I thought Luke Neller was in territorial prison. He broke out. Oh. 
Well, what have you got against him? He figures he's too big to be second in command around here. He wants to run this outfit. But you don't encourage ambition, eh, Dillon? Hey, give me orders here, Trigger. The men working for me do as they're told. Now what's to uh, become of Neller after I take his job? You have the answer to that in your holsters. You'll have to dispose of him before you take his job. Uh-huh. So you want me to kill him? I've heard about your record. He wouldn't be the first man you murdered. Well, where to put it? First, I'd like to look around your camp. What for? I want to see the kind of outfit you have before I decide to join you. Why not wait for daylight? I'll be able to see all I want to by moonlight. All right, Trigger. I'll get one of the boys to show you around. Quinn! Hey, Quinn! Who's Quinn? He's the man who brought you to my cabin. He should be outside. Quinn! Boss, I gotta talk to you. Where were you? I went down to the canyon entrance to talk to Nitro. I found him and Nellor tied and gagged. <laughs> what? That's right, boss. Where are they now? They're on their way here. I cut their ropes and then hurried back to tell you about it. Who tied them? Well, I couldn't get a straight story out of either one of them. Someone took their guns. I gave Nello a mine. Say, Trigger, did you pass a guard when you entered this valley? Yeah, he stopped me. I showed him the note from you and he told me to ride on. Then he must have been tied after he got here. Well, he was all right when I saw him. Hey, hey, hey. Here comes Luke, and Nitro's with him, boss. I want to talk to both of them. Hold on, Trigger. Where do you think you're going? Well, I... Uh... I figured you might want to talk to those two alone. You stay here. Maybe I'll need your help. I'm inside, you two. Sam, there's a stranger loose in the back. What's this gent doing here? I sent for him. You sent for him? That's right, Luke. Me, Trigger Tatum. Why, you jughead, he's no more Trigger Tatum than I am. Uh, he's a United States Marshal named Stoney Dixon. But... And don't try to reach for your gun, Dixon, because you're covered. Luke, are you sure? I'm plenty sure. He was the one who captured me and sent me to Territorial. And I'll get square with him for that right now. Don't be a fool, Neller. Sam Dahl is planning to get rid of you. What? He wanted to hire Trigger Tatum to kill you. What? He thinks you want to take over his outfit. What about that, Sam? <laughs> Drop your gun, Luke. Oh, you. You've drawn your gun on me. I'm covering you, and so is Quinn. Drop that gun. So you decided to kill your own snakes, eh, Dollar? Shut up, Dixon. Looks like you're drawing the wrong man, Luke. You should have drawn on your pals. So the law dog was telling the truth. On top of being big-headed, Luke, you're stupid. I don't know who was smart enough to tie and gag you two, but I aim to find out after I've dealt with you, Nitro, and this lawman. But, boss, I didn't do anything. That's just it, Nitro. If you'd have been on the job, nobody could have hogtied you. But I didn't have a chance. I want results, no doubt about it. Wait, let me explain. It won't happen again. I knew it won't happen again. Eggs are going to be different around here from now on. They'll be more different than you think, Dollar. But... The window! A mash man! He's got us covered! Drop your gun! In the split second when the startled outlaws turned to look at the window, Stoney Dixon snatched his own weapons from their holsters. Then he saw Tottle framed in the window on the opposite side of the room. The Indian held a gun, and in the doorway stood Sheriff Small. Well, let him have it! Before you do any shooting, you'd better look around, Dollar. There's a red skin at the other window. And I'm it... right behind you. The sheriff. Up your guns while you have the chance. My hands are up. Don't shoot. The queen, Luke. Don't expect any help from me, you double-crossing coyote. You're through, Dollar. I'm not through yet. Oh, you oh, were it... warned to drop that oh, gun. Oh, my, my hand. You're not seriously hurt. <clears throat> Those shots will bring the rest of my boys here. They'll take over. You gents won't get out of here alive. Yes, again, Sam. My posse's rounded up all of your killers. Posse. How'd you get a posse in this camp? Oh, it was easy. There was no one guarding the entrance to this hideout, so we moved in quietly and took over. We got a wall, Sheriff. Handcuffed and ready for the ride to jail. There's four more in here, Hank. Come and get them. Well, it looks like a clean roundup. Sheriff, you'll not need to me any longer. No, thanks, mister. We'll get these pole cats to town without any trouble. Then we'll be on our way. On our way. Wait a minute, mister. I'd like to talk to you. How are you, Dixon? All right, thanks to you. You know, there's a lot about tonight's action that I don't savvy, but I reckon you're behind most of it. How'd you get here? Toto and I found a killer named Vegas near Gopher Canyon. He lived long enough to tell us where to find you. Well, I thought Vegas was dead. He's dead now. While Toto rode to get Sheriff Small, I tried to overtake you. You know, I knew you were a brave gunfighter, Dixon. But I didn't think you'd be foolhardy enough to try to capture Dollar and his gang without help. (laughs) 
Oh, I wasn't going to try to capture him without help, mister. I figured to come here and study the layout of the camp and find out how many men Sam Dollar had here. I planned to get Sheriff Small and a posse after I learned what we'd be up against. I thought by posing as Trigger Tatum, I could get away with it. Yes, you might have if Luke Miller hadn't been here to identify you. I didn't know that polecat had busted out of prison. We bring Silver. Scout team is out All right. Thanks, Tonto. Well, howdy, Tonto. Hello, Marshal. Easy. Steady, big fellow. <laughs> Adios, Dixon. So long, mister, and, and thanks for everything. I'm glad we were able to help. Come on, Tonto. We'll report to our friend the governor that Dollar and his gang are finished. Uh, be ready, Kimasabi. Come on, Silver. Come on, Scout. Well, Stoney, every one of those critters are handcuffed. Luke Neller and Nitro are squealing their brains out because Sam Dollar planned to kill them. <laughs> good, good. We'll have plenty of evidence against the game. Right. We're all ready to start for town now. Good. I'll ride with you, Sheriff. You've done a mighty good piece of work tonight. <laughs> No, not me, Sheriff. All I did was get myself into more trouble than I could handle. Fact is, I'd be a dead marshal right now if it hadn't been for the Lone Ranger. This is a feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated, created by George W. Trendell, produced by Trendell Campbell Muir Incorporated, directed by Charles D. Livingston, and edited by Fran Stryker. The part of the Lone